ready? Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. I'm gonna show y'all this man. Since we taught my young dolphin, the dolphins are in here. Um, this man has been charged with arranging rapper Young Dolph's killing. Okay, let me read this. A man charged with arranging the killing of Young Dolph pled not guilty Thursday, one year after the rapper and record label owner was ambushed and shot to death while buying cookies at a bakery in his hometown of Memphis, Tennessee. Hernandez Govan, 43 years old, made a brief appearance in Shelby County Criminal Court in Memphis. He was arrested last week after he was indicted on charges including first degree murder and conspiracy to commit first degree murder in the killing of the rapper who was 36 when he died. Judge scheduled Govan's hearing for December 16th. Govan is the third man charged in the November 17th, 2021 slaying a young Dolph. Now it's a year to the day. Okay. Today is November 17th, 17, 2022. Um, the killing in broad daylight stunned Memphis and shocked the entertainment world. Police said two men exited a white Mercedes Benz, fired into Makita, Makita's homemade cookies, which is near the rapper's boyhood home in the Castilla neighborhood. Police released photos from the surveillance video that captured the shooting. Authorities later found the car abandoned. They have Justin Johnson and Cornelius Smith Jr. have both pled not guilty to first degree murder. Other charges in the shooting are being are being held in the jail without bond. They are scheduled to appear in court January 20th. Okay. Anyhow, this man here, I thought they had another picture of him. No, young Dolph. That's the street. Okay. Now check out this tea. The man who they are not charging Hernandez Govan, his daughter's a rapper. She was killed in September in Houston, Texas. And I always thought her death was really, really weird. Because she was an up and coming uh, rapper. Let me pull up her stuff. And she checked in. With everybody's favorite check-in crew, Jay Prince Jr. So she pre she checked in with mob ties and ended up getting killed. Give me just a second. Mm -hmm. She was shot to death in, in Houston. Keep forgetting these dang news articles aren't gonna, not gonna be able to hear it. Okay, this is the daughter here. Cash Desto. That's his daughter. Okay. She was killed back in September in Houston. Pulled up on her, did a drive-by, killed her. She's little Uzi Vert's artist. Uzi took it really hard. He was even at her funeral. He got up on stage. He said, you know, some really nice words. So she was killed. A lot of cash desto. She was killed. And come to find out, that is his daughter. So this is what he wrote. This the night my daughter came to my birthday set. After I told her to stay at home, we was checking each other all night. I told her you got so much money, it got you cocky because you wore them ugly ass flip flops. She said, Daddy, they know how I'm coming. I'm on Google. Hashtag Lotta Cash Desto. Damn, that's how her daddy writes? Whoo, that was a hard read. 
That's them together. Then he says, I think I cursed you, destiny, with my lifestyle. Apologize, baby. Honey. So, what the streets are saying is, that is how... Uh, the streets are saying that she was killed because people knew that her daddy was behind young Dolph's death. And that's why they took her out. And you see the daddy, when he wrote that, when did he write that? October 26th. He wrote that because she died at the end of September. So of course he's missing his daughter. He wrote that October 26th. And then a few days later, Takeoff was also killed behind Mob Ties nonsense. So the connections are just very crazy. But I remember when I seen that they had arrested him, that was my first thought was like, that's that rap girl daddy. I wonder if that's why she was killed. Because it just didn't make any sense. Um, she was really getting her foot wet. Um, I can't, you know, I listened to some of her music. I, it was okay, but her name wasn't big like that. You know, she was really just getting her foot wet. So then for her, and then it's like, she's a female. You know what I mean? Like what kind of dirt was she doing in the street where they don't follow her to Texas and did a whole drive by on her? I believe that was a message to the daddy. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely tea TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely tea TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.